Today I am doing kefir and I want to show you how easy it is. Uh, I ordered my kefir from Fusion Teas and actually that was online at Amazon and they have great, great kefir grains. I'm going to show you what they look like when they arrive. See, that's a grain. You get about a tablespoon. It arrives first class in a little, a little bubble packet and I put mine in the refrigerator because I couldn't get to it right away but now I'm getting to it. So all you need to do is put your grains in one to two cups of milk. And then you need to set it on a shelf, cover it with a cheesecloth, and let it set for 24 hours. Now the milk that you can use can be organic, whole. They don't recommend raw. And you really don't have to be super exact, but this is what I kind of struggled with, with my kefir is, is, I'm dairy free. And here we are with our grains, our kefir grains, putting them in milk so that it ferments, so that the bacteria starts to grow. And, and I had to really stop and remind myself, even though I'm dairy free, the bacteria that is in kefir is actually like eating up the lactose and changing it into lactic acid. And that's, that's a great benefit because it's taking that sugar and that bacteria is changing it. Now as you do your kefir, this is what it works for me. You know, your first batch, you really need to set for 24 hours. Then after that, what I do is every 12 hours, I just keep taking my kefir grains, and look how beautiful these grains are, and I will put them in some more milk. Now, I'm to the point where I've got two jars of kefir, beautiful kefir. So I'm going to transfer that kefir into my big jar. And then what I'm going to do is start my kefir grains again in my other quart jar. And you will find that really fast your kefir is really going to produce a lot. Because that's what these grains do. Once you get that first batch up and going, after the first 24 hours, I mean you're you're off to the you're off to the races. Now here's another tip about your kefir. Because you're going to see, once you start making kefir, you're going to have lots of batches. Lots of batches. You can also give your kefir greens a rest. And yourself a rest. Because it's going to proliferate and <laughs> keep making kefir a lot. So what I end up doing is I take my grains and I put it in a little bit of milk. Not much milk. And put your, your cap on there and put it in the refrigerator. And it can stay, your kefir grains will, will kind of go dormant and it'll stay in there for up to two weeks. That's a starry tip because kefir grains will keep making kefir, a lot of it, very fast. <laughs> 